What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're going to talk about Power Virtual Agent and Power Automate. So Power Virtual Agent is a new member of the Power Automate family and it allows for a chatbot-like functionality to be meme to be embedded in websites or somewhere else where you can uh, guide users or customers through a process uh, picking up keywords that the customer is saying in the chat. Power Automate has a trigger for Power Virtual Agent meaning that you can trigger a flow from something that uh, from a route that you're going down in Power Virtual Agent. So we're going to take a look at that trigger today. So I'm in Power Virtual Agent and I've decided to start from this point of view just to kind of show you this process and show you where you're adding it in so it's a little bit easier for you. So I'm going to create a new topic. You can add this to an existing topic or uh, one that you've, you know, one of the existing system ones or something that you already, uh, you've already created. But I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to create a new one called Automate. Uh, in the description I'll say this is an automation test. And then we need a trigger phrase, so how it's going to go down this subject. So I'm going to use the phrase automate this. Click add and it's gone in there. And from there I'm set up and I can go to my authoring canvas. You can see the topic saved successfully. So I could, so we can trigger this from this trigger phrase here. And then we'll say hello um, to, as a first step. And then we're going to trigger a flow. So if click on add node here. Um, there's a button here called call an action and that's what we want to do. Oh, nope, wrong one, call an action. So as I click call an action, you get two options. You get authenticate and you also get create a flow um, once it wants to load up. There we go. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to go through creating a flow. So it says launches a Power Automate, launches Power Automate in a new window. So we click on that we can see that Power Automate uh, loads up here in a new window. Uh, I think my internet is going slightly slowly today. So there we go. So once this loads up, there's a couple of things to notice. Firstly, um, it's given it a default title of Power Virtual Agents Flow Template. So this will be, if you ever launch something from Power Virtual Agents uh, and hit Create Flow, you'll always get this, and then you'll also get these two triggers and actions. So this is a Power Virtual Agent trigger, and this is a Power Virtual Agent action. So the trigger allows us to trigger this, there is also an option for we can um, put in some parameters to give to Power Automate. And then the action allows us to pass some parameters back to Power Virtual Agent, for instance. So, um, so that's what these two things do. Now I'm going to show passing parameters in a different video, but for now I just want to show you how this triggers. So um, in the middle, we're going to add a new step between these two steps, uh, and I'll create a compose action, um, compose, and I'm just going to write in the words, uh, this worked mm -hmm. to show that this flow will work. So once I'm happy with that, I can click save. And we see it's saving and then it's saved. Now, if I flick back to my Power Virtual Agent, you'll notice that it's not added in anything here by default. I'm still going to need to go back and re-add. So if I click on Add Node again, go to Call an Action. Now this time, along with the Authenticate and Create a Flow, we'll have a list of flows, um, which is this one. Oops. We have a list of flows, which include that one that I've just created. So I didn't change the name of it, which I probably should have done, but uh, I have a list of uh, Power Virtual Agent flows, um, of Power Virtual Agent triggered flows. So if I had all the flows in here with Power Virtual Agent triggers, those would already show in here. But from here, I can select this one. I can also click on a hyperlink and it'll open it into a new window and show me what's in that flow, but I don't need to. I know what's in there. So I click Power Virtual Agent um, flow template, put that in there. And then what I will do is I'll add another step afterwards and I'll put uh, the words thank you in here. And then what we what will happen is when the trigger phrase is triggered, it'll say hello, then I'll run my flow 
and then we'll get a message that says thank you. So bear in mind, I'm not passing any parameters to and fro from um, Pom Power Virtual Agent to Power Automate. I'm just having it trigger that action. So maybe you could create a record in the background, like a lead or something else. So I'm now gonna click on save at the top. We can see it says saving your dialog. Um, then we can see the dialog saved successfully. And if you notice, there was also um, a loading screen on this chat over here. So to test this out, I can go over to my uh, test chat bot and in here I can type in automate this, click enter, press enter. Then what we'll see is we'll see the messages in here and we'll see it go green along here. So green, green, then it's running the flow and it's trying to wait until that flow's run and then it's trying to send that message. So it says hello and then thank you. Now you'll notice a couple of things here. So you'll notice that even though I'm not passing any details back and back and to from Power Virtual Agent to Power Automate and vice versa, I the 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 Power Virtual Agent actually stops and waits for that flow to run. So bear that in mind when you are when you are using this in a Power Vir in Power Virtual Agent that if you have longer running flows, you will have a customer wait in there for a minute. Uh, and this is thank you. And again, we've not passed anything back and forth, but we can see that all these are green ticks. So if I click back to my flow, I can go back to the previous page and I can see my flow run. And this is the one that just ran and we can see that this worked. Um, I can expand these, but it doesn't really show as much uh, much in the way of details there. Um, it gives us a little bit of details about um, you know, where it was and what triggered it. Um, but then that's it. So you can set up your Power Virtual Agent um, to trigger a flow and then you could do anything from that flow. You could send an email to a colleague. You could um, create a lead based on information that was coming in. Um, you could do anything. But being able to trigger um, uh, flows from things like Power Virtual Agent as well as the Power Apps one that I showed the other day as well uh, is really, really powerful stuff. So what do you guys think? Is this something you'll be uh, working with when you start working with Power Virtual Agent? Have you already started working with Power Virtual Agent and have you used flows for anything uh, cool that I want to know about? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.